Another K1 bout here. They brought a crowd with them for this one. Yeah, definitely. 68 kilos again. Three two-minute rounds. It's Alfie from Flawless and Nathan Powell from Celtic Pride and Karma Muay Thai. Both quite tall fighters. You're Jim Lewis. What do yeah. you know about Nathan? Uh, as I said, quite tall, good good straight shots, good long teeps. Quite elusive. Um, quite a elusive style to him. Uh, a lot of people struggle with that. So let's see what Alfie can do. Start. Again, this is K1, so there's no punching. Explosive start to proceedings here in round one. Yeah, very erratic, very wow. explosive. Both look similar, don't they? Yeah. Let's see if this comes out of the first round. Oh, big right hand there from Nathan. Wow, that, now that's an opening 30 seconds. <laughs> Let's see if they can maintain this. I'll be surprised if they can. I'd be very surprised. Yeah. Oh, spinning off kick attempt there wow. from Nathan. Fight is crashing in quite a lot. That's a third and fourth time that Alfie's dipped his head there. Thank the low kick as the instruction there to Nathan Powell. And Ooh. tries a spinning <laughs> kick, it's elaborate, but <laughs> if he's got it in the locker, he's got it in the locker. Superman attempt there from Alfie, and the oh, come shields out. If he uh, if he lands that, no can defend, <laughs> as Misty Miyogi would say. <laughs> <laughs> Instructions from the corner there of Nathan. A lot more straight shots, straight on the pipe. I think Alfie's rushing in a lot. He's jumping in with his Superman shots. So strong teeth, strong right hand. They stop him there. Stiff jab coming in from Red as he needed clatters into the ref. Good left hook there from Nathan. Very, very, I don't want to say erratic because it's doing <laughs> him a disservice, but wow. Big energy ex exuded in that first round, Lewis. Yeah, as you said, a lot of energy from both fighters there. I'd like to see if they can maintain it through two and three. The lovely Harriet Ringo here today at the fantastic Ebu Vale Sports Centre in the Valleys of Wales, <laughs> South Wales, on Leapfrog Fight TV. This is Stand Up War number nine, and it's been a banger so far. Coming to the end of the first half. Interval coming up, and then on to the main card. First bout will be Connor Morris against Aaron Churchill in class action. But right now, Alfie Amos Smith from the Flawless Gym against Nathan Powell from Celtic Pride. A crazy first round. Who's going to start taking charge of this in round two? It's a very strange clash of styles. Yeah. Some weird kicks coming in. Although it is entertaining for the crowd. People yeah. do like to see you. Yeah. It's like that was a bit of sport karate almost there from, from Alfie Smith. Good right kick there for Smith. Both fighters enjoying themselves. It's almost like the matchmakers have done their homework to bring these two together. <laughs> Getting back, first attempt there. Oh, he lands the axe kick. Great Superman, I'm pretty sure that landed flush from what I could see. 
neither of them really planting enough to land a solid shot. It's all very uh, exuberant for the large part, and I don't want to say off balance because again, it, it's uh, doing them a disservice. But it's just a very, very strange—not uh, strange—exuberant uh, style from both. Some big shots landing there on both sides. Oh, the third or fourth attempt there of that Superman punch, but obviously, he has had some su success with it in the past. Obviously, you know Nathan Powell well in the gym. Uh, is uh, this our Alfie Amos Smith is? A different style is that bringing out a different response from Nathan? Yeah, it does look like a, a, and I mean, I think he is playing to it, which is entertaining for the crowd, and uh, yeah. he is getting some success. But to play in the attempt there. <laughs> both, both turning out with a hook. Both starting. I'm starting to see a little bit of tiredness on the face of Alfie Smith. Determination coming out of Nathan's eyes there, marching him down. Could be his time now to try and take charge of this. Both of them, I think maybe even Alfie Smith more so needed the end of that round two there. Yeah. I mean, they, they have gone at it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, well. Big start from both lads. Let's see how they in round three. Alfie looks strong with his hands. A few times there, he's in the clip, Nathan. Uh, both fighters look good, quite elusive. Very entertaining style to watch. Good bit of K1 action. I asked the question at the beginning of round two who's going to take control of this and it's still not too clear at the minute tough one for the judges Lewis yeah, yeah definitely the, the style of fighting is very difficult to score I wouldn't like it to be the judges as you said as there's a lot of movement it's difficult to tell what's had effect and what ha hasn't had effect nice back kick there it's sometimes you, with K1 you get these mixture of styles big uh, but they could come a little bit of taekwondo or sport karate or it's the kickboxing it's not the Dutch style one two low kick K1 mm. this is a strong hand from Nathan there big he knee good work there from from Nathan Powell corner rusher in the on Superman attempt from Nathan possibly the fundamentals might start paying off here in this third round definitely that's where it always comes back to good body kick there Big, big body language there for Nathan yeah. Powers. He smiles as he marches forward with his bloody nose. Left kick. I think Nathan's starting to take control now. Yeah, as he's said, enjoying it. I think those basics are starting to show here. Just those straight punches are starting to weigh on him, although. Yeah. A blood covered Nathan marches forward. He likes the Superman punch. <laughs> A visible gasp there from the red corner. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Definitely felt at the end of round two, like started to show on his face a little bit. You can see there that Nathan comes from maybe a Muay Thai gym, predominantly. <laughs> Another back kick there. Blood all over the chest that Nathan Powell won't be very happy if he gets my shirt in the pickle. <laughs> I'm losing a shirt a week at the minute. <laughs> <laughs> Might start billing the promoters. <laughs> yeah, we'll have a word with Stephen Gifford afterwards.
Let's hear it for your winner in the blue corner. 